Rejoice, our sport is saved. They finally changed the gloves. Not only the color, but I guess also their design. So the UFC is looking to launch their new gloves for UFC 302 after testing it for years. They said that even tested it for the Contender Series, which is actually something I didn't know. Casual alert. And they're saying the gloves are going to reduce eye pokes, reduce hand injuries, and also help with accidentally cutting the opponent while they throw punches and stuff due to the stitches. This is not going to stop Chris Weidman. When there's an eye, there's a way. He's still going to find a way to use his ultimate technique. So one of the gloves are going to be called the 3-8 glove. I don't know why it's called that. And the other one's going to be called the 5-8 glove. The 3-8 glove is going to be black, I guess, and it's going to be only for three round fights. The 5-8 glove is going to be a gold color and is only for what it says championship round fights. So I'm guessing it's also going to be used for non-title main events. That's what I'm getting here. They're going to use a turquoise color for the contender series and a red glove for the the road to UFC Asia. I don't know how I'm feeling about the gold color, especially with the red and blue wrist wrap. That's going to look a little bit funky. I thought the color was fine. I don't think they need to change it to gold. I get the idea, but it's like going to be quite distracting. But this is what Duncan French, who's the senior vice president of the PI said. He says, quote, there was a revelation that there hasn't been an evolution of the fight glove. French noted that an eye poke happens every 14 fights with an average delay of 50 seconds. That's crazy. Every 14 fights we get some kind of eye poke and it seems like it's been a lot more frequent recently the number of injuries has been a point of contention for several years and the idea to reboot the glove with new technology rather than an evolution appears to be the ufc's most significant change in recent years that will directly affect fighter performance the glove technology includes a reduced weight 10 different sizes and a slimmer profile that removes excess space at the outside of the hand there will also be a removal of finger binding that allows the hand to close into a fist more naturally while seams on the outside of the glove are eliminated to prevent cuts and abrasions. For those who don't know, this was actually a big problem as to how Randy Couture lost his belt when he fought Vitor Belfort, getting cut in the eye because of the glove. And I believe, if I'm not wrong, Alexander Gustafsson also cut John Jones with that one right hand, but it was like the outside of the glove that seemed to have cut him open instead. That big scar you see on Jones' face, it's because of that. It says, padding has been added to the size of the glove at the index and pinky fingers to provide more protection for the hand. Okay, for the pinky finger, I understand that for sure. It's like the weakest knuckle of the hand, but what that would also mean is that fighters can confidently punch harder without breaking their hands. This is a big thing as to why a lot of, you know, fighters and coaches say that when you have more padding, you can actually punch harder. It doesn't necessarily mean that the, the punches are going to be weaker with more padding. Not all the time, at least. To a certain point. It's also important where the padding is. Sometimes the gloves can weigh the same, but the padding is distributed in different places that allows someone to punch hard without worrying of breaking their hands. It says the glove was covertly tested out during the recent season of the Contender Series for 10 weeks and will be put into action when the UFC heads to the Prudential Center in June. That's going to be UFC 302. Dana says, we have been working on these gloves for over a past few years with the best designers, engineers, and athletes in the world. This redesign will truly be a game changer for the entire sport of MMA. These gloves will feel lighter, fit fighters' hands, better, prevent injuries, and provide maximum flexibility during the fights. You'll start to see this in competition in the summer. What it's also going to have is a new wristband locking system, better fits to the wrist, removing any space that permits opponent from grabbing the glove. I like to see that in a fight, what they mean by this, removing the space that permits an opponent from grabbing the glove. And where it's said that they're going to remove the seams on the side of the gloves, now they're going to be placed on the palm side of the band below the fingers. This is much, much better. Removing the finger binding is going to reduce the bulk, so it's going to make it smaller and minimizes the seams that can cause abrasions and cuts. Now the weight of the glove, they're not all going to be 4 ounces. We're going to have 3 ounce gloves to 4.9 ounces, so about 5. And that's actually a weight reduce of 1 to 1.5 ounces from the previous glove. So the smallest glove back then was 4 ounces, now it's going to be 3 with different kind of padding and stuff. That's actually quite significant, even smaller gloves than before. And I'm guessing the lower the weight class, the smaller they're going to be. It has to be that way, right? You can't have two fighters in the same weight class, one's using 3 ounce, the other's using 5 ounce. That would really make sense. Some other stuff here is as ergonomic curved wristband for better fit around the wrist. Scooped or angled finger holes eliminate bunching on the inside of the fisted hand. Lining a custom printed two-way stretch moves with the hand. They're going to stack the foam padding engineered for maximum flexibility and protection. An updated law profile hook and loop minimizes snag and reduces weight. And they have an authentication data chip which allows 
allows the UFC to identify a pair of gloves to a fighter in a specific fight, authenticating the gloves as fight worn in a designated fight. Interesting. I like where they're going with this. It seems a little too good to be true for their first new glove, but hopefully it works out, man. As long as they can reduce the eye pokes, I'm good, you know? As long as they fix that problem, that's the main problem. All this other stuff is extra. The main thing is just eliminate the eye pokes. And if they do that, we're happy. They succeed. And Chris Wyman and John Jones are going to be throwing a fit over this. Wyman's going to be like backstage when they're putting his glove on. Wyman's going to grab the old gloves out of his bag and put those on instead. And now let's see how many eye pokes are going to happen in fights. Did Trevor Whit and fumble you know everybody's saying that he has the best gloves out there and they actually tried to buy the patent for his gloves and he didn't sell it to anyone as far as as far as we know but is there even a market for him anymore to sell those gloves? Because if it wasn't the UFC, who is he really going to sell it to? Every other organization seems to have gloves that they're content with. I don't know. He may have fumbled this. 